Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. Today I wanted to sit down with you guys and share five things that have changed our homeschool. I'm gonna call these habits because these are things that I have developed um, a discipline to continue to do over and over again in my homeschool. Some of them are simple things, very practical things, which I know many of you come to my channel for that practical like implementation. So I want to provide content for you guys for that. And I've never made a video like this, so I thought this would be a good idea. So I'm gonna share with you guys five habits that have changed our homeschool. So the first habit that has changed my homeschool that was not always something that I did um, is setting out our morning basket table the night before. Now, we used to do morning basket on the couch, but as my kids have gotten older, I've gotten away from that, and we do a t sitting around the table. That's how we start our school days. So setting up wherever you homeschool, whether that's on your couch and having your book stack out, or whether your kids complete their independent work and you've got their language arts lesson and math lesson set out for them, um, or if you do it like we do around the kitchen table starting as a family and you have everybody's Bible studies laid out, every book that you wanna go through, if there's anything that they do you know, as a group, you know, all the worksheets, whatever the case is, setting up your homeschooling space, room, couch, table, chair, I think I've covered all the places you can homeschool, um, the night before is a habit that will bless you and your homeschool tenfold. I'm telling you guys, it's simple, it takes five to 10 minutes, but it makes the next day flow so much better. It's, it's honestly like, why does this make such a difference? I've asked myself that, and I still haven't figured it out. But that is a habit that has changed my homeschool. It starts us off on the right foot. Um, it lets me feel prepared. It lets me feel ready to ease into lessons. I don't know, there's something magical about setting up your table the night before. That habit has changed my homeschool. This habit that I have to share with you guys that I feel like has made a profound impact on my homeschool is if everything else fails in the homeschool day, if we cannot do anything else, if something comes up, if whatever the case might be, Bible study together has got to happen. That is a habit that I have built and cultivated in my home where we don't take days off from being in God's word. So if I'm ever trying to shorten or condense a school day, I will get rid of everything else before I get rid of that dedicated time together in God's word and that I don't need to say much more on it, has been a habit that has transformed our homeschool. The third habit that I want to share with you guys that has changed my homeschool, um, and this is one where I'm coming from a place of experience, is not being led by emotion in homeschooling. So that means not being led by my own emotions, whether I'm in a bad mood, whether I'm feeling grumpy, whether I'm feeling tired, whether I'm feeling unmotivated, whatever it is, and also not allowing my children's emotions to dictate our homeschool day. Um, there's many different ways that you can go about dealing with a child who necessarily doesn't have the best attitude or is feeling emotional or whatever, um, and every situation will be different, so use godly discernment as you decide when it's time to take a break because something horrible happened, the loss of a pet, the loss of a loved one. Obviously, I'm not talking about those huge things. But what I am talking about is it is really, really difficult to be consistent in homeschooling and consistent in your character training of your children and consistent in your discipleship of your children if every time someone has a bad attitude, we don't do school. Like we, no, nope, okay, we're not gonna do it. Um, not being led by emotion is a life skill that, and it's it's godly. It's 
it's a uh, it's self control, it's self discipline, it's perseverance, it's endurance. Like our emotions are fleeting; they change all the time, and so we cannot rely on fleeting, changing things in an area of life where there needs to be consistency. And also, we are shaping and molding people, so we can't model to them that if they don't feel like doing something or if they don't like something or if something is hard or if they have a fit then they get their way that you know that's just not fruitful and so not being led by emotion in your homeschool whether that's your emotions your kids emotions um is is a is a habit that uh definitely needs exercise to be strengthened but it is something that once you get to a certain point the blessing of that is tenfold and there is so much growth and spiritual maturity that comes when a child learns to not you know give up if they get frustrated and they learn to come back so not being led by emotion is another habit in my homeschool that has been transformational. Um, once we, you know, learned like, okay, we'll take a little break or we'll do this or we'll do that. Or sometimes just speaking for myself as the homeschooling mom, if I'm struggling to feel um, motivated or excited about something, there's certain measures like you know, sometimes just putting one foot in front of the other. The other thing is like doing something that is is enjoyable for me, doing a lesson with my kids that I'm enjoying instead of doing something that I feel like I have to do. Like there's different tactics to overcoming that, but not being led by emotion in your homeschool is another habit that has changed ours. The next habit that I wanna share with you guys is no comparison. No comparison. That has changed our homeschool drastically. I <clears throat> I never really struggled with comparison in the aspect of like feeling inferior um, and thinking that someone was doing it better. But what I did struggle with, me personally, um, in the comparison realm of things, is always um, wondering like if if incorporating this would be better if I could add this that would be awesome like seeing all the good ideas because I want to do all the fun things I want to do all the ideas um, but really that's just gonna lead you as the homeschooling parent to burn out and overwhelm so not comparing whether it's you relate to what I just said and it's like it's not a bad comparison it's just like ooh, that looks good um, and it can lead you you know into having like 20 different things that you're not even able to use right now or if you do struggle with feeling inadequate in your homeschool and um, the comparison can be you know your child not being where you think they should be or being behind or whatever um, I've really just taken ownership over my homeschool I say this is the way that I do things that's what that's why I always say that here this is the way that works for us um, and there is a very very big difference between gleaning wisdom gleaning inspiration um, gleaning just ideas uh, and comparing right so that that is a fine line to walk but just be aware of it comparison will always leave you feeling bad um whether it's 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 sinful either way if you compare and then you elevate then you've got a self-righteous attitude and if you compare and then you feel bad then you have a you know a self-pitying um you know self-deprecating attitudes. So comparison never leads to anything fruitful and freedom in homeschooling is found when you really feel confident saying like, this is the way that we do it and it works for us. And uh, that has changed my homeschool and it'll change yours. And the last tip that I have with you guys that I wanna share with you for this five habits video that has changed my homeschool is praying aloud with my kids every single day. Uh, if it wasn't for homeschooling, I want to believe that I would still be doing that, but I can't say because it's just a part of our homeschool rhythm and routine. Uh, but praying aloud with my children has transformed our homeschool. Uh, we used to, um, you know, pray 
I would have some of the kids pray and still sometimes I do ask them to pray for us. Uh, and sometimes in the past, you know, we would, we would pray on our own in, you know, but together. Um, but over the last five, six, seven years, I have prayed daily out loud with my children on their behalves in front of them things I'm struggling with, like I don't keep it, um, you know, only related to homeschooling. If we're walking through something as a family, I bring it before the Lord in front of them in that moment. Um, if I'm struggling with something, I'll share it there, you know, if it's appropriate. So um, praying authentically and earnestly together with my children in our homeschool days has radically transformed our homeschools. And um, I, I can't even begin to understand the blessing that has come from from that because God is gracious and has given me a little bit of fruit, but I have not seen the full picture of completion um, and none of us will, but I'm just telling you guys, there's power in praying out loud in front of your kids and with your kids. And so that habit has changed our homeschool drastically. So I hope you guys enjoyed this super simple five tips video for you. I wanted to share some practicality because I know that a lot of you come to me for that. So I hope this video was a blessing to you. Let me know if you related to anything. Let me know if you have any habits that have transformed your homeschools in a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy advice and wisdom, and I will see you guys again really soon. Bye friends.